Good evening, everybody. We're going to be starting here in about 20, 30 seconds, getting a few things wrapped up. Stick around. we got Dick Tracy coming up here on the NES Blind Playthrough. See you in a moment. everybody I think it's game time let's do it like my game is a little bit wider than it needs to be. Hmm, what the hell was I playing last? Kid Chameleon. Hmm, ah, you don't say, huh? Well, I didn't even really think about that. You know, there's so many different things that you have to do to actually get a good-looking feed on a game. And apparently, I didn't pay attention to that so I do apologize anybody who's watching hmm that seems huh, maybe that just seems a little weird let's let's see what the main let me see what the main game looks like here no that would be that's a legitimate size hmm Weird. Sorry about that, everybody. I didn't even realize that, uh, that, uh, my game, I needed to reset that. Usually I'm pretty good about doing that, but I, I didn't do it this time. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and, and bump through just a few things of this. And I'm going to keep you on the mic here. And we're going to add and remove a couple things. Shit, I do apologize for that. That is, um... It's not like me to do that. It's been a long day. Super long day. Let's see here. Let's hit some side talk up because... There we go. That's the one I'm looking for right there. That's like a noob mistake. That's a rookie. It's a rookie mistake. And then, flip these bad boys up. Boink! There we go. Alright. Better. Better. Alright. So now we're, now we're exactly where we need to be, everybody. Let's go ahead and relaunch the game here. There we go. Oh, now my game audio is like not coming through either. I'm a hot mess. Hmm. That is really bizarre.
we go. Can you guys hear it now? Whew. Jesus. Rhymenies? Give me one second here. All right. Better. Better. I have no idea. Uh, yeah. Welcome to welcome to streamer life right there, huh? What's up, Blaster? I've never, ever played this game. So this is a blind playthrough for me. Sorry about that, that little technical difficulties there, but we're, we're past that. Um, so... So I, I do have some codes, Blaster, that have been put on here because this game, from what I see, is is quite difficult. And so I, I I threw a bunch of codes up today just to make it easier, okay? And to be perfectly frank, we have infinite energy. I think I got infinite lives. Well, I got infinite energy. Um, better strength. Infinite super punches, whatever the hell those do. Infinite machine gun bullets, infinite tear grass, uh, tear gas, tear grass. <laughs> yeah, uh, I've just never played this. Oh, this is game of the week. There's no denying that. I've just never played it before. And I'm probably going to find out the damn reason I've never played it before. So if you've played it before, I will definitely take some assistance on this because, uh, what's up, Spoonie? Spoonie Spoonage in the house. I like it. Give me a second here. I do want your assistance because I've never played this, so I'll have to use a guide or I can have you chat my ear off on it. And I would rather take that than me reading some bullshit online. Any day. Any day. Any day of the week, Blaster. You never beat it when you were a kid and you didn't realize you had to get out of the car so yeah <laughs> I guess we're gonna find out do 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 you got nothing on me Tracy and you know it <laughs> yeah Tracy so why not try to get nothing on me <laughs> you got an assignment just remember don't shoot at unarmed thugs and follow the clues I saw a little bit of a playthrough and I saw uh, you were going through uh, clues long day but way uh, way better but what better way than watching your stream it, exactly, Spoonie. I I saw you wearing a mask the other day on, on Instagram. I hope everything's okay. Bogus box. Fake twenty dollar bill used near Steve the Tramp's flop house. <laughs> Oh, look at that. He's got an Apple Watch, right? He's got an Apple Watch. I didn't know Dick Tracy had that kind of stuff, but I guess, uh, why not? It's it's Dick Tracy. You know, he's got to have something cool. Hit the street notepad. What the hell's notepad? Oh. Randomly has three paper clips and a pencil. I never found notebook paper that had one two three four five on it 
He's got a Samsung watch. <laughs> that is some ugly ass yellow. It makes it look like I have scurvy because my skin's all yellow. <laughs> Mug shots. Ah. Flat top. I remember flat top. I haven't seen Dick Tracy in forever. And you know, it was like Dick Tracy coupled with um, what the what the hell am I thinking of? Um, Dick Tracy and Who Framed Roger Rabbit? That's what I'm thinking of. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh shit. Wee 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 wee. Oh, is that a clue? I should have put super jump on here, right? They actually said something that you could do higher jumps. I didn't think it would be this big of a goddamn deal. Shit. Oh. Oh, he's shooting at me. There's snipers. You know what game I used to play a lot as a kid? On the arcade. I used to play it on the arcade a lot. We had a place called Hofbra Pizza in my town. And Hofbra was really famous for having an ar a great arcade. And they used to have, um, I don't remember if you remember the game, Pig Out for the arcade. They used to have Pig Out. Um, the Simpsons. Turtles. Um, this fun police game called APB. And uh, a, a bunch of others. They used to have the off-road. They used to have a lot of four-player games. But APB was the shit. I don't even know where to go. It's for the it's for the links. Maybe I need to buy it. Maybe I need to buy that. Hey, thank you for the uh, uh, Kerna. Thank you so much for the YouTube sub. I really appreciate that. I'm trying to get that YouTube channel up there. We got a ton of stuff over there, I, and Kerna could not even be in this chat. You know, I mean that's that's definitely a possibility. I didn't know it was for the links. APB is for the links. I mean, you're shitting me. That is. Now I need to get a pocket because of that. If APB was such a fun game. Oh yeah, baby. used to be able to go there to Kmart and get games for $9.99 and this was one of them that you wound up buying you know what I guess as a little kid that was probably one of the one of the things that I always I felt bad about when my parents would allow me to to get a new game and the game was really bad you know and it you know I I would go outside and play and they're like why aren't you playing this new game I just bought it for you it's like try to make up an excuse or something and you felt really bad so i rented a lot of games and i remember my parents would buy me you know four or five games when they were like 10 bucks you know but i felt really shitty you know as a kid when games were garbage 
You know, I'm sorry that this ended up being one of the games. I don't know where the hell I'm going, and I don't think there's a map. So, I need to know where the hell I'm going. You got it at a gaming convention, and I'm hoping that I get a pocket blaster. I, my pre-order, I didn't get it. And it's really upsetting. Yeah. See, I'm running a bunch of codes on this tonight. I'm running a, a ton of codes. This is a blind playthrough. I've never played it. We were just talking about games that you, you, you rent. They turn out to be quite bad. Are games you buy and they turn out to be pretty bad games. So I am watching a, a little bit of a, of a playthrough here, everybody, because I've never played this game. And I got a feeling that if I don't watch a playthrough, I don't know, I won't know what the hell's going on. You want to get an ABS? I don't know if you saw that, but they were they were selling noirs again. They had a few noirs left over. Analog did, and um, the damn thing sold out in like four minutes. And that's super. It's horrible. Yeah, I w we we were talking about it. About um when your parents would buy you a game and you realized it was a really a bad game and they spent money on it, you know? Super frustrating. I don't even know where the hell I am. You wanna get, like I was saying, the, the noir sold out so fast. What's frustrating that I'm seeing about analog these days is that analog, when I got into the into the company analog for like streaming what I'm streaming on now um, not a lot of people knew what analog was you know the, the company people just didn't know what what the company was and um, I think they blew up when the super NT came out and then everybody started really getting on the hype train with it. Then the Sega, now the pockets sold out. Now more people want more noirs. And I don't know. I'm I'm pissed that everybody found out. It's great for the company, but I'm upset that everybody found out what they were because it's even hard for me to get analog stuff. Like I couldn't even get a pocket. But um a retro an ABS is going to be a hell of a lot cheaper than the analog. I can tell you that much. And that's great, you know. I mean, I'm not, analog is expensive. No joke about it. The analog is super expensive. Ooh, a clue. Shoes with green ink or soles being fixed for numbers. My grandparents, of all people, had the ability to buy amazingly rare, really good games when you were a kid. What were some of the games they bought? I would love to know. Uh, it's fun when other people buy just random games, I guess. You know, it, it, like family and stuff like that. 
you'd go to a fr an aunt's or uncle's house and they knew that you knew they had that one game demon's crest that's cool that's cool they had demon's crest i finally acquired that game probably about two or three years ago never owned it i rented it once but i was not good at it I can't go in here. Hey, young daddy, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Your virtual boy got me Jack Bros and Waterworld. What's up, Blue Coop game? You love this game? I've never played it. This is a blind playthrough for me. Seen something? What can I go in here? Very simple to sub from Twitch Prime. I've never done it. Oh, that's right. That's right, Blue Coop. I I get so used to other names, you know, when, when people come in and do name changes, I really don't know. Is it the 27th, anniver 27th anniversary of Dick Tracy? Okay, you guys, I don't know what the hell's going on. How come I cannot go back into doors? Why can't I go into buildings anymore? I used to be able to. Is there a reason? Just in there. Yeah, 
Yeah, I saw that. It was about ink. What the hell's going on, everybody? Oh, hey, look at that. Son of a bitch. I don't know how I'm in here, but whatever. Barrel! Pew! Hit him like a hundred times in the throat, and then he finally dies. There's a clue up there. I need up there. Did I just hit him in his junk? see Dick Tracy take on Tyson? I don't know who would win in that match. Blank money, paper, and invoice from First and H Print Shop. Okay, I guess that's where we gotta go. First and H. First and D. God damn, these snipers are all over the place. Jesus Christ, they don't make it easy, do they? Look at all these people. Get out. There we go. Your money's on Tyson? Oh, Mutton. Tyson's going to punch the shit out of Dick Tracy. does have that, doesn't it? I feel like it does have a little bit of a uh, turtle vibe in it. ticket fourth and B shoe repair all right I'm gonna go do some shoe repair <laughs> look at this shit ah. No, no, no. This is... 
I'm running an 8 bit do and it has an X and a Y, so it's gonna have a normal shot and then it's gonna have turbo. Um, I, I told you guys I am running codes on this because there's no way I'm gonna be able to beat this game without codes. Um, so I'm running like infinite en energy, infinite machine gun, infinite tear gas, super strength. I'm running a lot. It's hard. Uh, some bitch. Ooh, that guy's a thug. Footprints in the puddle of spilled green ink. Dude, that guy hits. Oh, look at this. Climb a rope. It's gonna jump you. drive-by on me. I pitted him. Let's interrogate him. Nice. See, I love Roger Rabbit. What's up, Penny? What? What's going on? I haven't seen you for a while. How the hell you been? Track and field. You know, I've been doing a lot of work recently, like at my mom's house. And I, well, a lot of renovation, a lot of sledgehammer work. And the other night I came home, and my hands were killing me. And I literally was thinking about what I could play without ba without button mashing. So we're actually going to have a game coming up just a point and click and stuff, but the other night we streamed Kid Chameleon and my hands were so sore after just trying to get that game. Kid Icarus and Metroid on the NES were exact same engine, just different content. And I love love Metroid love Kid Icarus. Yeah, new, all right, new job, congratulations. May we ask what you are doing? Oh my goodness. got your NES collection when everything was cheap yeah I you know I've I've had my collection for years so 
I know what you're saying, because now everything's skyrocketing. It's just too damn expensive. The Kid Chameleon stream penny, it's going to be there. It's not going anywhere. But here's the thing about the Kid Chameleon stream. Check out my Twitch page and look at the highlights. You can also head over to the YouTube page because I uploaded the highlight too. I completed the Bloody Swamp stage. And it must have taken me 50 minutes. This running stage, they, they claim it's the hardest stage in the game. I agree. But also people were saying that it's the hardest game. A hardest level on any Sega Genesis game too. It took me like 50 minutes to get it done. But we were able to get it done. Um... But I got to the final marathon stage at the very end, and after like three and a half hours of playing that game, I just couldn't handle it anymore. And I don't know how anybody in their right mind could beat that game without cheat codes. That game is so, so hard. And I loved it as a kid. I agree. You got a special, um, oh, that's fantastic, Penny. That is fantastic. Good for you. You know, I'm a teacher too, so that's con congrats, man. Good for you. So you're teaching, you know, students with special needs in middle school. Oh, man, good for you. Good for you, Penny. Yeah. I mean, that's, you know, it takes... It takes a special kind of person to be a teacher, Penny, but it also takes, you know, uh, even... even a... a different kind of person to teach students with special needs. So, congratulations. That's... that's kick-ass, man. That, that is really good. We need it. What's up, Ryder Cole? Yeah, how's the hospital, my friend? Ah. I need a machine gun. Ooh. God damn, these guys are no joke. Look at all these fire bits. I like it. Thank you. Thank you so much for the sub. I've I'm really trying to get my subs up this month. Uh, I, I'm down significantly in the subscription category. So thank you so much for that sub. Definitely need them. Barely able to move, but good. Well, then this is perfect, then. This is exactly where you need to be. Right, Ryder Cole? This is exactly where you need to be. Ryder Cole, um, one penny just got a new job teaching kids in middle school with special needs. I love that. I really, really, really love that. I've been okay, Ryder Cole. I've I've been better, but you know, um, I've been doing a lot of work for my mom, and and I painted her entire house, uh, just stained the entire fence. We took 16 gallons of oil-based stain. It cost like $680 to stain her fence, her gazebo. Replaced the huge portion of the gazebo with new treated lumber. Um, uh, painted the shed, gonna paint the garage, replacing beams and stuff. Just a lot of work. But it's been good because I don't have a job, so it's been great getting out, getting physical labor. You know, I'm sore today. I'm really stiff, so. But, you know, school's starting here next Monday, and it'll be the first time 
that I've been here in Butte with not going back and teaching for the rest of the year, like this new year. I'm going to have some difficulties with it. It's going to be tough. But this is why I'm going to stream. I'm going to work on my mom's house and help her do all that stuff. And I'm going to stream full time for like the next year. I just hope unemployment pays more than what it is now. I hope they, I'd love to see them go back to 600 bucks a week. Not that I'm a lazy ass. It's just that it's hard to find jobs being a teacher these days. And Penny should know that. You know, it's tough. It's tough being a teacher right now. No one's hiring. Look at this guy. Oh, oh. Oh, what did you drop? Is that like some beef jerky or something? That was a first aid. Yeah, I'm keeping busy. My mom's paying me to do, you know, love my mom. She's paying me, a, you know, money to do a lot. I'm doing a lot of work, though. I mean, it's it's no joke. I was digging some new fence posts the other day. God, man, it sucks digging holes. I had to rip out a bunch of old concrete, too, and an old 4x4. <laughs> I hit that concrete the other day. I had safety goggles on, or glasses on, but I hit that piece of concrete in the hole the other day. Piece of con cement flung up, hit me in the leg. God, I hurt like a son of a bitch. Was there a clue here? Or am I crazy? Ooh. <laughs> oh shit. Do I have to go do that again? Oh, it was a big piece of concrete. That thing flew out of that hole so fast. Hit me right in the leg. It was like, oh, shit. Then I started bleeding. <laughs> God. It was a mess. Yeah, I just keep my eyes open. Um, we figure that we're just going to be stuck here for another year. I do good at this game would you consider myself would I consider myself a job as a detective not at all <laughs> not even the least because I got a feeling I'm not gonna do good at this game oh my goodness I need to do arrest that guy. I didn't know that it was, um, I should just start arresting everybody, right? Can I go in here yet? Oh, I can. Oh, I've already been in here. God damn it, that guy is just tagging me. Ba 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 ba. I think I already got my clue here, didn't I? Oh, there it is. Let's go see if we have to do this again. Shoot first, ask questions later. I know, isn't that a bad mentality? It's not a good mentality right now and it in our world right now but in the video game i can you bet your butt because i'm dick tracy because i'm mother dick tracy baby i need to find a machine gun God 
damn it. Fourth and B shoe repair. I know the Apple Watch. Who is it? Um, somebody was saying it's not an Apple Watch; it's a Samsung watch. <laughs> I was already here. Wasn't I? Oh, no, I wasn't here. No, I was here. Maybe I should just follow my guide. Like my blanket? Isn't that fun? You miss old Tetris watch. I remember the watches you'd take wear them to school and you just play video games on them all day. Until the teacher takes it away from you. Alright, let's arrest this guy. something that's really great on HBO if you guys have a subscription to HBO Scooby-Doo's on HBO now the old Scooby-Doo wife and I've been watching a lot of Scooby-Doo lately yeah these guys suck but we do have infinite life on everybody wink, wink, wink. I need to find a machine gun. Who are these guys? I did it. <laughs> Mike Tyson Mysteries on Hulu as well. Mike Tyson Mysteries? What the hell are you talking about? Wow, that looks like Mike Tyson punch out code right there. Oh, Star Fox was great. I love me some Star Fox. I haven't played it in a very long time. You know, but Star Fox was great. Lips did it. Lips torched some arson here. Oh, you gotta hit the streets, baby. Fruit snacks are tart. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, this movie makes me really want to not watch Dick Tracy, but makes me want to watch Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Is that crazy? Mike Tyson Mysteries. I, I got to take a photo of that, okay? Tyson Mysteries. What what the hell is it about? I mean, I, I that seems silly, but like is is there anything Tyson related into it or is that just Just... Spinning some some brodies, huh? Way to go, dick. Way to go, dick. I need to find out where to get the machine gun. I don't know where to get this machine gun. This is awful. Well, if anybody has access to the internet right now, will, well, to a browser, will someone look up and try to find out where to find the machine gun in this game? It's about Mike Tyson and his crew solving mysteries. No way. He does the voice and everything. So with Mike Tyson, you always want them. <laughs> right? You always want them. <laughs> you know what? I actually... I enjoyed Mike Tyson as a kid. You know, how could you not like him as a kid? You know, I mean, you have Punch-Out. He's the youngest heavyweight champion in the world. He's just crazy you know empty camera with engraved initial B you know that's why that's why Nintendo took his name off Mike Tyson's punch out you know is because it was the 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 rape allegations that was awful you know then he had to bite Holyfield's ear you know and that didn't do him any good those rats you dirty rat. You killed my brother. You dirty rat. Door, I need you. Doink. I think I hit him in his kneecap. Oh, oh. I'm going to pit you. Hit him. There it is. Maybe I did it. Maybe I, maybe I did it, maybe I didn't. Huh, but you ain't got enough on a must bust me, Tracy. God damn it, really? I should be paying attention more to my uh, playthrough video here. 
Because I'd whether or not I'd know whether or not to arrest those guys. Son of a beeswax. So we gotta do that again. Boink. Okay, so I guess that's what we're going to go do next. Yeah, I mean, how could you not? I enjoyed watching Mike Tyson. It was Mike Tyson. So I got a great playthrough of Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. I got two of them on my YouTube channel. One of them's a, a poor quality for a, for a camera because I was using a webcam. But I end up beating Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. I go through every normal care, everybody except Tyson. I beat him in the first try, okay? It's really a fun playthrough. Then I get to Tyson and he beats me three times in a row. I, he, I fight him three times and I beat him on the third time. The next go around with Mike Tyson's punch out was an entirely different story because it took me like two and a half hours to beat Tyson. That guy just some days you got it, some days you don't. All right, so we're going second in C Auto Shop. That's where we're heading. Because I want the Tommy gun. If I can find it. There's first and C. So I think this is second and C, but I I don't think I can go in here yet. No. Shit. Oh, wait, no, there's second and C right there. Nice. Okay, so what are you saying here? Um... For example, in the second to see if you punch a car towards the beginning of the level. Okay. So this is going to get cryptic. Oh, I can't even be here yet. You notice that? I'm not progressing any further, so I can't. Shit. I want a gun! Yeah, Ryder Cole, I, I have a... I have a great playthrough of Super Punch Out on my on my YouTube page as well. Check it out. You know, I mean, you're laid up, so you got some free time, right? But I play all the I I do Super Punch Out in one evening, and I get all the way to the Bruiser Brothers, and I don't I don't quite think I beat Rick Bruiser that night, maybe, but I sure as shit don't beat Nick Bruiser. Um, the next night I play it, I do the special circuit again, and I beat Rick and Nick Bruiser. Super Punch-Out is so good. I agree with you. Super Punch-Out is far better than um, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. I, so. I think so. But I grew up with the nostalgia factor with Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. So in there kind of gets the, the cake for me. But, um... Super Punch Out's so good. Such a great game. Give me one second, everybody.
right, I'm back, everybody. With with turbo controller, any gun's a Tommy gun. I agree, but the thing is, is I didn't put unlimited handgun in here. I only put machine gun because I thought, oh, I'll get a machine gun like fairly early on. Far from it. Far from that. I didn't get him. I haven't got a machine gun at all yet. I guess I just have to punch the shit out of everything, right? The the nostalgia the, the nostalgia goggles goggles. That's a really great way to put that, you know. I mean, because that's kind of what it is. You know, that's that's definitely what it what it's become. What street am I on? I need to find what street I'm on. Okay, for second in H. First in G. Alright, we're heading to a new place right now. And I'm just kind of getting a rundown on it. We're going to four and I, fourth and I. I have really super thick nostalgia goggles. I really do. And it's bad, you know, it's bad for me. Where the hell is fourth and I? I mean, just cruising around. I look like, doesn't look like police, but I look like first responder. Okay, fourth and I is kind of hidden in the dead end. Sixth and J. What the hell is going on here?
this map I'm using it uh, is really goofy there it is oh wait a minute this map is backwards stupid all right here we go These guys are green. Look at them, they're green. Bah! Bah, bah, Oh, the car handling's top notch. Yeah, it needs to get its. It need to get. It needs to get its uh, steering realigned after I get done with it. the shit out of him, didn't I? Ooh, clue up there. <laughs> ha! Photos taken by Bug Bailey show lips manless starting the fire. Oh, you're in deep shit now. Get Dick Tracy on the loose. You're all in big trouble. I swear there's nothing on any website about Tommy Gun location. Really? Well, in, in, in the codes, in, the, in some Game Genie codes, they say that uh, Infinite Machine Gun, and I have yet to find one. Like, I mean, I don't know. Maybe if I just punch random walls, I'll find it, right? It's like being a beta tester in this damn game. Let's just punch everything. Until shit slows down and we break the game. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to that. <laughs> I need some water. All right. Let's go make an arrest. You. You got me. I did it. Look at his face. I was a wise guy, huh? The wise guy. Polly Walnuts, right? You'll do as you're told, Christopher. Look at this guy. Wow, he has like the bluest eyes I think I've ever seen in any NES character. You always remember getting it randomly as it went on. Yeah, I've never. And so ends the career of another one of the big boys thugs. Book him, Dano.
Ooh, my lips are available, dick. <laughs> A bang up job. Uh oh. It's got the Samsung watch. Beep, 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 beep. Hit the streets, baby. I'm digging the music, though, baby. It's getting better. Give me a gun. Give me a gun. What is that? What is that? Is that gold up there? What is that? Look at this guy. I need that. Can I climb a pipe? What is that in that window? everybody wearing trench coats you know like I think back in the day there people made money they had like a trench coat store people made money off of that where the hell do you get that clue god damn that guy's like a Tyson himself Clue, I put a power up thing in there that, to give me that, but I guess I don't have it. with embossed eye. Hmm. Well, I guess you could find a back scratcher if you're going through people's windows. I mean, that's cool, I guess, Dick Tracy. If you want to be a creep like that and just steal people's shit all the time. I guess you could do that. They have 7th and A. I wonder if they have a street named T and A. <laughs> I climbed the pipe. Yeah, I did. I climbed the pipe. Come on. There's got to be something behind the bar, right? Dude. This game looks like to be almost impossible without codes. That's the biggest thing. You know, you play... <clears throat> as a little kid, okay, so as a little kid, you get, let's talk about this for a second. As a little kid, you would watch a game like, a movie like Dick Tracy, or Who Framed Roger Rabbit, or Ninja Turtles, for that matter, right? And then you buy the game, and you realize that the game is complete dog shit, right? It's so bad. It is just such a bad game you can't it's painful to play and I think that was so disappointing with like the original Ninja Turtles don't get me wrong it's a classic but it was it took me I would think I was a, like a freshman or sophomore in college to beat that game it didn't happen overnight like it literally it it took so long to beat that game 
you know, it, Dick Tracy is obviously one of the. It was funner. To, it was funner. It was more enjoyable to watch the movie than it is to play the game. Okay. Can anybody else think of any other ones like that? Throw them out here, baby. Let's talk about it. God damn, why is the clue always on the floor? Meh. Discard a note. Skip the blank. Skip the blank of Mickey and keep him asleep. Oh, they're talking about roofing him. Like that's what they're that's what they're trying to do, right? Slip a Mickey. <laughs> How many people have ever heard that term before? I I heard it the other like I've heard of it and I I remember it as a kid. But somebody said it the other day, like in I might have been watching like Family Guy and it was like slip him a Mickey, eh? <laughs> and I laughed and looked at my wife and and giggled about it and I was like, huh, Mickey. Oh, no, I, I hear you, Penny. Like, I love Ninja Turtles, and I loved that game. I am not trying to kill you on that. I'm just saying, like, the games, it didn't live up to the expect. And Ninja Turtles is hard. And watching the movie, like, I will watch part one and two. I still will lay in bed and watch part one and two of Ninja Turtles. And for a while when I was a kid, I could recite those entire movies. It's just when you go to play the NES one, the first one, you're like, this one is so hard. And then they change it, you know, to the arcade game, you know, and then you got Turtles in Time and stuff. And those games are just so good. But the original was just so hard, you know. I mean, they try to make it as close to the movie as possible, and I applaud them for that. But, you know, it, it was just, uh, yeah, Willow. Uh, Willow isn't bad. Willow isn't bad, you know. Every single movie licensed game. <laughs> it, you know, it was just so hard. You know, that game. Ninja Turtles was, was hard, you know, and I would always try it as a kid. You know, I'd always try to beat that game. I could never really get too far in it, you know. I mean, um, as a little kid, I mean, I. I didn't make it to the end, you know. I mean, that, that shit just didn't happen in that game. Everybody, cause, because everybody played the first beginning levels of Ninja Turtles so much because they could never get to the end. I always thought it was cool when you fought the mech, I think a mecha turtle? I think you fight mecha turtle in there? I, oh, I'll never forget how hard the sewers were. That jump you had to do in Turtles, like, it was one jump and you actually, like, use, you have to hit upwards to get your ass further across the jump. Oh, my goodness. Paulova! Paulova! I don't know what to do. Probably look it up to see if I arrest him or interrogate him. Oh, he didn't do anything. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've never been able to beat Friday the 13th. Never been able to beat that game. I could never do it. And I enjoyed... I enjoyed uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. You know, I... It was fun. And if you ever played it for people, it's even the best. It's the best. I, I struggled at night, uh, Friday the 13th. I could never beat it. Because you're on a time limit.
but um I liked Nightmare on Elm Street it was super hard I honestly would probably prefer Ninja Turtles over Friday the 13th a couple years ago I bought Friday the 13th uh, Nightmare on Elm Street in the box like not mint but it was complete for like 15 bucks this was you know like maybe 20 years ago But um, I would prefer Turtles over Friday the 13th. Hands down, my friend. Hands down. And Nightmare on Elm Street is very tough. So I watched, Penny, I watched somebody speedrun um, Ninja Turtles, and it was so amazing to watch somebody beat that game in a speedrun. I was thoroughly impressed. Well, uh, you remember playing Hook and liking it. Um, but I would trust my eight-year-old self tasting games. You know what game I really do enjoy? I mean, I, mean, I love the movie Hook. Uh, and I love Robin Williams. I don't know if you guys saw, but yesterday would have marked six years that Robin Williams, you know, has passed away. Um, so I watched Dead Poet Society last night because I think it's a great movie of his. Um, my love, my, my wife is a huge Goodwill Hunting fan, but we were in Boston about a year and a half ago and we were able to go to the L Street Tavern and check it out where Robin Williams sat and sat at the same table and everything, you know, not where he sat, but where Matt Damon and Ben Affleck and all those people sat. Um, the thing about it is, is they renovated it since then, so it doesn't really look like that, but we were able to get an L Street Tavern uh, glass and it was pretty cool. A guest cameo for Nightmare on Elm Street, right, Penny? I mean, obviously if, if COVID clears up with any time soon, you know, I'm, I don't even have, like, my cousins here streaming with me anymore. Um, I love Aladdin. Aladdin is a really great Super Nintendo game. Aladdin is so fun. Oh, the Simpsons games on the NES can never get far in those games, but I was always excited to play them just because they were the Simpsons. I agree. Um, I couldn't get far in the Simpsons either. I remember one of them, you have to paint things, you know? You have to spray paint stuff. You have to kind of do a little graffiti with Bart. I couldn't get far in them either. But again, it was just... These guys are green. It was just fun to play because they were Simpsons. I agree with you on that. Ooh, ooh, what did he drop? Tear gas. That looks like a pineapple. I got unlimited tear gas. Hell yeah, look at this. Oh, you guys are all screwed now. Burr, burr, burr. Looks like I'm throwing coconuts or pineapples, I mean. And I played that one on the Sega. It's, yeah, it is completely different. Bart versus the Space Mutant, Bart versus the World, and um, I can't think of the other one. I, I love Turtles 2, Penny. It was just so hard as a, as a young kid to play that. What's up? Who's that little buff? Thanks, little buff, for the follow. Appreciate that very much. I'm throwing these pineapples. Pineapples! This shit is tough, isn't it? Yeah. I got lovely psycho coconuts. Meow. 
Yeah, we'll get four people in and we'll start playing Nightmare on Elm Street. Four people, man. That is the way to play it. It's fun. Krusty's Funhouse, Alien 3. Library records show explosives checked out by Flat Top. I'm coming for you, Flat Top. And see, I didn't play a lot of Aladdin for the Sega. I have it, but I didn't play a lot of it. I played more for the Super Nintendo. So I'm going to be a little biased and say the Super Nintendo version's better. But that's why we love this channel, right, everybody? Because everybody is, you know, you can... It's all subjective. It's all subjective, my friends. How many physical games do I own? Now this isn't so if you guys if you guys collect games. Let's talk about this for a second. Alright. So if you guys collect games like I do, and you and you this is a little slow, a little laggy, but if you collect games like I do and love them as much as I do, then you're going to want something to catalog those games all right so i am partnered with if you guys haven't seen it here let me go back to this i am partnered with the retro game collector app this is an app for both ios and android okay retro game collector look it up in the app stores we're going to be doing a free giveaway here i guess i haven't decided it but the the owners partnered with me and one other streamer has partnered with one other streamer because we stream retro games and that's pretty much all I stream. But anyway, um, I use the app called Retro Game Collector because it is, I think it's probably the best app you can find out for collecting and managing game collections, okay? Because it's hard to manage all of them. Anyway, so the Retro Game Collector app, super good. Um, so you're asking me how many games do I own and this this app actually you can download Genesis Super Nintendo Sega CD Atari Lynx Neo Geo all of this stuff here so you're asking me how many physical games do I own well this game this isn't updated okay I haven't did an up I haven't done a mass update of my games for a very 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 long time so again I'm missing probably maybe two or three hundred of these but it says total games I have is 847 physical games okay 847 and I don't even want to tell you the estimated value of all those games I don't even want to say the number okay but I know I have more than that I know I have more than what I'm saying that's cataloged in the app but check that app out. If you guys do have a lot of games and need to manage them, and like me, when I used to collect games or go pawn shopping, I need to know what I have. Because half the time I'm like, ooh, Double Dragon or Contra. I know I have that. But do I need another copy? Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot of... We could just say that it could pay for college tuition in value of games, okay? We'll just leave it at that. This is also, you guys, because you know, um, I have some sealed games, okay? So I got a sealed copy of Zelda. I think you guys, I think I've shown these with you guys, but we have a sealed copy of Zelda. I have a, this is by far one of my top, it's in my top five probably for NES games, Star Tropics, okay? I have a sealed copy of Zelda, Zora, uh, Zoda's Revenge, Star Tropics 2. Granted, these are all graded games, everybody. Um, I got a sealed copy of Shadowgate in 85 plus, okay? And Blaster Master knows I got a sealed copy of this, Blaster Master. I don't know if Blaster's still in here. Probably is. He deserves this one. And then my, my, my top game that I own that's sealed is my Final Fantasy, okay? Um all 
big title, big titles. Uh, Final Fantasy being quite, you know, being the largest out of all of them. So Reese, um, actually, you, you want to know the one of the best things is is that the retro game collector. If you have a question with them, you can write him and he'll respond to you right away. And they actually just loaded up Famicom games as well. So they're looking to improve that app. So you can download um, other titles of the game, you know, or other non-English titles as well. So they are working on that. So if you have those concerns for the app or would like to see something like that, he also the, the app also has Nintendo Power issues now. Finally, Nintendo Power issues. Um, write them. They're great, super cool individual, and I'm I'm honored to be partnered with them. I've been using the Retro Game Collector app for years now, and it's great. I recommend it. Recommend it. Now the thing about it is, before you go into that app to buy a database of games. You do have to pay like a buck or two, okay? This Obviously, this person doesn't do it for free. They need to make some money too. So it's like a buck or two for an app of like, you can, or you can spend like, I think five bucks and get everything or 10 bucks and get everything Nintendo. But it has cover art. It has trending values. It It's sick. It's really a good app. Check it out. And the best part is you can write them and they'll write you back. Pretty quick. What? Here's my pineapples. Oh, you guys are all in deep shit now. I don't. Who needs a machine gun when I got all this tear gas? That just kills everybody on the screen. It's like a nuke. Okay, Tracy, you got me. I did it. It's flat top. Remember that hairstyle? Like, you know, that used to be cool, right? Or I think the parents of this guy just, like, taped a board to his head when he was born, you know, and just molded his head into there. I'm digging these uh, tear gas bombs, these pineapple bombs. Give me that clue. There we go. Handkerchief with cloak and dagger design smells of chloroform. How do you know it smells like that? Right? Here, this smell. Does this smell like chloroform? Smell it. <laughs> does this look like a Mickey? Eat it. <laughs> Jesus. Smells of chlor. Oh, I gotta. I, got I actually need to take a photo of that. That's funny. You know that shit's funny. You know, like, oh, this smells of chloroform. Smell it. That's funny shit. I think it's funny. see if we can punch this right you said it was uh, near a car a Tommy gun oh the rats hurt you that's some horse shit God, these guys are green in the face This 
could be anywhere. What the hell's that? Oh, that's a super fist! Isn't it? Oh, yeah, you guys ready for some super punches? Super punch out! Come here, come here! Oh, look at that. Yeah, there. Boink! Boink! You know what game I... I was hoping they would fly across the screen like the the like the power-up P in Renegade. I don't know if you ever played the game Renegade. That's a fun game. Super Fist for the win. That sounds terrible, but yeah. Super Fist for the win. like my super fist is gone that's okay you know why because i got these lovely pineapple bombs and this tear gas was wrecking people get your ass up there dick come on dick Oh, there's dogs in the game. Discard a note. Keep him at first and J basement. Couldn't have beat this game without codes, you guys. It just would have been too hard. Tear gas, though, man. Shit. I better be a little bit careful. Or, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to. I have unlimited energy, but it doesn't mean I have unlimited lives. And now I got a feeling this game is getting progressively more difficult. Especially with the jumps. Shit, really? Come on, man. God damn it, dick. I 
thought I was dead. I was like, why am I still standing? Oh my... if there are unlimited lives in this you know you just uh just don't have unlimited energy if i keep dying i'm gonna find out right How the hell are you supposed to get that clue? Oh, you can walk on that. I was too scared that you couldn't. <laughs> do have to go back over this are you kidding me god really god damn it i feel that dick here can't jump Ew, those jumps are rough your ass up there. All right, guess I won't. See, that's what I'm talking about. God. Maybe I just got to use the turbo jump. I feel like I get up higher places when I use that. Whoa, 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 dick, whoa, slow down. Yeah, he, he, you know, he lobs those things, you know, he's not as good as Randy Johnson, but I mean, he's getting up there with those pineapples. I mean, if Johnson can hit a bird, I'm sure uh, Dick here can hit somebody in the face with one of those tear gas pineapples. Whoa, whoa, see? It's like you kind of get hung up on some of those pieces sometimes. Oh my god, what are the odds of me jumping? I'm pretty good, I guess. Pretty good, huh? I gotta say, the jumping in this is, is pretty tough. Seems kind of buggy. It's not very fluid. Okay, sure. I mean, okay. Yeah, 
did you see that? I couldn't... Yeah, that doesn't make any sense, but sure. I think I gotta grab that clue again. There we go. I don't... Dude, that is... Those are some tough jumps, man. Dude, that was tough. I don't know. I have, I have no idea why my guy, guy went through, but uh, he did. He went, like, right through that. All right, moving now. Ooh, just T-bone and right through intersections, baby. Just go right through that intersection. Boom, boom, boom. You know what? I feel so much better, like, cheesing my way through this game. More jumping puzzles. Chloroform ah. bottle, the browse fingerprints. Nice. Found out who had the chloroform. Oh, look at that. That's fun. I didn't know Turbo was really that good with throwing um, tear gas. Fun, I get it like right at the end of the game. Honestly think tear gas is way better. That was such a goddamn letdown. Boo. Okay, Tracy, you got me. I did it. Yeah, I dig the tear, gra tear gas more than uh, the gun. That's for damn sure. I could see why you guys were saying, oh my goodness, you're playing Dick Tracy. Good luck, Slap. Good luck. Oh, I need a clue. Blue's Clues. Got the empty money bags.
to go chase him down. You know what game I should play, everybody? You ever play caveman games? I love me some caveman games. I used to rent that a lot as a kid. car there we go I don't even know if I need to get up there I mean well, it looks like I do should have known better some Joe and Mac you should look at caveman games it's a it's a fun one and I don't think it's a as expensive as Joe and Mac would be. There we go. Caveman Games is hysterical. How the... How the hell do you get over there? Yeah, Caveman Games, you got like competitions like the Dino Vault, Firestarter, Mate Toss. Mate Toss is funny. Some preview for that. I think you'll get a kick out of uh, Caveman Games. so tough like this game's ridiculous oh safes man dropping safes look at that it's like no matter how many people are on the screen every time you kill someone someone else comes out on the screen it's pretty quick
4-H. <laughs> That's a real thing, 4-H. Oh, can I not go here yet? can't go here yet so apparently the end of the game doesn't happen for me yet I gotta head back to HQ and figure out what the hell else I'm missing Been trying to get outbreak working but it's kicking your butt what are you having troubles with like on the on the do tell just here but ah I didn't get this guy connection test did you use the video I sent you like the the video link Did you read the comments um, below to see if anybody else had that same problem? Oh, he ran me over.
I mean, maybe I need to fire up my outbreak tomorrow and um, walk through it again. Because I was able to play some, but I haven't done it for probably maybe a month. So it sounds like maybe I need to walk through it. And if you're free tomorrow, I mean, we can we can message back and forth on some Discord and see what I'm selecting and what it's failing up on you because I would probably need to see it on my screen. I've already been to 3H, so maybe I need to just, maybe I can go to 4H now. What's up, Trophy Hunter? There's 4H right there. Nope. We were just here. I don't need to play this again. Done did this clue. Shit. Now I do have to go through it. Oh yeah, I'm only, the only way I'm playing this here is because um, I have some codes in. Yeah, this game from what, I, what I've gathered already would be a super tough game. And applause to the people who speedrun this game. I don't think a speedrun of this game is in my future. Ooh, we're in the bank. I think we're already here. Ah, that's what I needed in the big boys deposit box. Hit to 4H, I think. Yeah, well, keep keep trying at it, Blaster. Um, so let me get to where I'm getting to, and I'll talk in a second. So, you get to the DNS, trying to load it up, you pass the connection test, but when you go to the start the connection, and you're selecting everything correctly out of the, out of the video, what, what the guy is saying, I, I'm, I'm not saying you aren't, but, I mean, you, I guess you gotta be really specific at what you're, at what you're doing, and... You have a wired connection, right? But I guess if you got a test and the test works, I find it strange that the other wouldn't work. I think this is the very end. Yep. We're in the Ritz, baby.
Okay. Well, Blaster, if you're gonna be, if you're gonna be, I don't have to work tomorrow. Like, so I'm pretty free for the day. Um, is there? I mean, just shoot me a message on Discord, and if I'm around, then I'll jump on. And I'll fire my PS2 up because I have it sitting right next to me, and I'll go through it as well and see, we maybe see if where where you're hanging up at, and just try. I really want that to work. You put a lot of time into that too. Oh. Oh, look at the throat shots on him. I think we arrest him, don't we? I... <laughs> I gotta hand it to you, Tracy. I hate your guts, but you're a good cop. Do, 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 right? You're one in a million, champ. Big boys say maybe like 20 years to life. Yeah, see if that'll work. Um, maybe there were some networking issues that were down, you know, so you couldn't hardline it in. Extra, extra, read all about it. Tracy Blast, big boy behind bars. City safe once again, game over. Okay, so that took me about two hours to beat. Um, little, little over that probably, and I was using code. So I was watching a speed run of this, and the world, uh, like a speed runner has us beat in 19 minutes and 32 seconds. Hell no, hell no. None of that shit. I'm not doing that in that time. All right, everybody. It looks like that is Dick Tracy. Do you, th I, do you think I could have beat that game without codes? Probably not. This is one of those games I think that it... It's it's not a random occurrence, but it looks like everybody, every character that comes out seems to have a gun. That makes it difficult. Um, there are just so many groups of people just firing on you, but it looks like you have unlim unlimited lives. You're just going to have to start again at levels. And I think that would be really frustrating, um, only having a fist. It's like taking a knife to a gunfight, especially in this game, when everybody just has these just everybody has a pistol and like unlimited ammo so i was glad i could have unlimited ammo to even those odds yeah blaster let's let's try to work on that tomorrow man and see if we can get that figured out and i'll walk through my process too on it you know and see what's working what isn't all right everybody so that's it that's dick tracy i'm super stoked about uh playing this one i'm glad we were able to get it done um, this was our game of the week over on NES fans. Uh, this isn't a game that I would... Would I recommend buying it or not for your collection? No. I don't find anything special in the game. Um, unless you wanted movie games, you know, I mean... Sure, you know, I mean, but... Uh, I would rather own Caveman games. I'd rather own Nightmare on Elm Street than this one. You know? Our Turtles, if we're gonna go movie-wise, I guess it would be fun to actually rank what movie NES games are out there. Not SNES, but NES, and, and compare them up and put them up against the kind of the Pepsi challenge, I guess, and see kind of where they sit, you know? But everyone, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night. Um, glad this one's done. Uh, this was definitely a little bit of a, a pain in the ass for sure. You know, it, it's, this wouldn't, be my, this wouldn't be one that I would pick up again anytime soon. You know, so if you guys haven't played it, you're not missing much. If you have played it, then you know the frustration of it and the reality of how difficult this game is. I struggled with it there just myself. You know, when I had cheat codes on, it was... There, 
there was really no map unless you there was no map and you always had to go back to your police department because it's it, apparently you don't take your notepad with you so i don't know why you wouldn't take your notepad that didn't make any sense but um you know whatever i guess You know, I was going to raid somebody here. You know what, what's interesting is I'm watching somebody play Mario Kart here. And this visually, I don't know how her stream is, but how do you get 90 viewers watching you play Mario Kart? It blows my mind. You know, just blows my mind. You know, but yeah, Blaster, let's work on that tomorrow and see what's, um, see if we can figure that out, everybody. So let's see here. Divine, heavy, offline, offline, Blaster, Blaster, Blaster. So everyone, uh, as always, as I always put out, go ahead and follow me on Twitter. If you, if you have Twitter, I'd definitely appreciate a follow on there. Uh, we do have a YouTube channel and all my previous streams go over to YouTube please smash that subscribe button on there we're getting up there in the better than what we were for before like five months ago so it's paying off so check out the youtube channel like i said we do have super punch out over there we have that one over there we have a ton of games so Ryder cole that should keep you really busy over there on on the youtube page check it out i think you will definitely dig that um we do have a discord everybody if you want to keep the conversations going or if you want help if you have a fat PS2, we are getting a group together. Um, Blaster is part of it. We're going to start streaming. Um, we're going to start streaming Resident Evil Outbreak, and I'm really excited for this um, because people have created custom servers, and we're finally got everything set up. Blaster's working on it. I worked on it. Captain Cutthroat's worked on it. There's a few other people that you can join these custom servers, and we are going to start streaming Resident Evil Outbreak. And what's best about this is now would be the best time for Nintendo or Capcom to release a multiplayer Resident Evil, not not part three. I'm talking Outbreak, man. Do you know there's zombie elephants in Resident Evil Outbreak? Oh, it's going to be so good because it was so ahead of its time that the only way you could talk to people was to type and text. And how do you text? Like you have to play with two people. If some one person will be texting on a type on a keyboard. You have a special adapter to hook it to your keyboard, and the other person will be playing the game. And by the time you wrote somebody, it was too late. They're already dead. So it was a big pain in the ass. So we're gonna bring that game out of the grave, and that is gonna be kick ass. I am so excited for it, and it should be great. Um, so go ahead and join our Discord, and we'll get you guys set up with that if you're interested in. We got the whole kind of walkthrough on how to get that done. Um, if you guys are interested in GamerGoo, partnered with them, we get we'll be giving some free GamerGoo away this month. But use code SLAPARTIST right there on the GamerGoo website and get 10% off on your next order. Shit works, man. Keep your hands dry. If you get sweaty hands when you're playing first-person shooters, horror games, stuff like that, it's really kick butt. You know, it it works, no joke. And other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and pitch it to. Please continue to show your support by following, cheering, subscribing, or donating to the channel. The cheers, the subs, the bits. The donations, everything that you do goes into supporting the healthy streams of this channel. That either A, replaces equipment, um, buys new games. Uh, it, it does everything for this channel to keep this up and running for you guys. Because when winter comes, you know, I'll be streaming more and more. We do have a, we do have a Wind Waker playthrough coming up in the making, all right? So I'm really excited for that. Uh, I've never played Wind Waker, but we are getting there, and it's going to be a little bit later, um, probably next month in September when we'll start 
a Wind Waker Wii U playthrough. We'll be playing the HD version of it, but I've never played it, so I'm looking forward to it, and I hope it I hope it goes well. You know. All right, so some guy here is playing Secret of Evermore. We're going to shoot him a raid, okay? That doesn't mean you have to follow him. It doesn't mean you have to stay and watch him. Let's just give him some numbers. I don't even know who it is. But again, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I will be back tomorrow early, early, early afternoon to play some more games. And in fact, the Haunted Souls, uh, Haunted Mansion of Souls is going to be the next game we play. It's a Sega CD game. But it's a game of the week over on horror fans and i'm looking forward to playing it because it's going to be low key it's a click and point kind of like seventh guest um speaking of that if you guys head over to the youtube page because we also do have all the zelda playthroughs that were on the Philips cdi on there we just streamed those not too long ago so that being said everybody have a great night thank you for watching and i will see everyone tomorrow have a great night we're gonna throw this guy a raid um, I don't have a uh, we have like 11. I had 18 people in here a little bit ago We're gonna throw this guy right. He only has five people Just jump in there. Say hi. You don't need to follow him. I don't know him <laughs> Everybody have a great night. Stay safe. Stay smart and I will see everyone tomorrow Thanks for watching. This was Dick Tracy. Everyone have a fantastic evening And I'll see everyone tomorrow